Welcome back. And let's start another controversial video. Stating that there is nothing wrong with the nervous system for people with a chronic disease such as long COVID, chronic Lyme, chronic fatigue syndrome, ME-CFS, etc. And by now there are hundreds of labels um, that are trying to describe the symptoms that are going on with, for, for, for someone with a chronic disease. So yes, what if there really is nothing wrong with the nervous system? And I get it, because when I first heard, heard the theory um, many years ago, it sort of gave me comfort that there was indeed something very wrong with me, um, because it didn't feel right. I had severe symptoms, no one knew what was happening with me, and then the story that there was too much stress in my nervous system and that caused um, the symptoms sort of made sense. And yes, if you would uh, investigate the people with a chronic disease, you can see that there is a very strong chronic stress response going on and that that stress response has an influence on their symptoms. But still, I don't think that there is anything wrong with the nervous system. And I used to repeat the theory that there was something wrong with the nervous system. Right now, the story of the dysregulated nervous system or the nervous system that needs some repair or is broken has gone able. A lot of the healing modalities that people use are about fixing the nervous system. And it's all about calming down the nervous system because there is stress. Um, I think it's important to understand stress first before you try to soothe it, calm it down, give yourself a feeling of safety, etc. And stress means resistance. And that means that you are resisting something, probably unconscious. So something is in your body and you are in a state against it. That means that stress is something that you are doing. It is sort of a verb. It is an action, an unconscious action. And that makes you feel very wired and stressed. If we then remove that unconscious resistance and allow the stressor, or in other cases, if we complete the stress response, then usually the nervous system winds down very fast and a state of homeostasis can enter almost immediately. And after working with hundreds of different people and applying these tools from the release program, for example, where everybody just feels great after a release, calm down, they want to go to sleep, their nervous system goes into homeostasis or the parasympathetic uh, state of the nervous system and they can heal the, the, the consequences of chronic stress, for example, uh, by sleeping. It sort of dawned to me after a while that there is indeed nothing wrong with the nervous system. And I think I should have questioned the story of the nervous system before. Therefore, the current approach of calming down the nervous system and giving yourself a sense of safety um, does not make a lot of sense because we want to complete the, uh, the stress response and we want to allow the stressor that is usually in your body that makes your body want to resist it in an automatic state. Therefore, I don't think it is wise to keep on applying calming down methods or to keep telling your brain that you are safe um, because there is still a stressor in the body and that needs to be looked at, to be felt and maybe to be completed. And then you remove the resistance, you allow it, and then the stressor can just leave your body. And sometimes it's really that simple.